think already there's the African, what you're saying about the entire Africa condemning it is beginning to happen. Mm -hmm. um, as we see, we'll see over the next few days how it goes um, and all that. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I find this whole thing almost like, I don't know, it's like a very it's a funny dream. You know, these people suddenly getting up, fighting their own brothers and sisters, if that's what you want to call all of us, and all that. And um, in reality, I, 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 I think that um, South Africans are yet to recover from what they've been through. That's what it is. Mm. It, it's like PTSD. They're suffering from some stress, traumatic stress disorder. disorder. Mm. And um, so it's, you're not going to find good reason and logic to what they're doing, uh, except, they want, except maybe if you want to say that there's a lot of logic in somebody saying, give me my country and get out. That's actually. But what of the argument that we did it to the Ghanaians? Uh, no, 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 no. We'll, we'll come. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, when we told them to leave and uh, Ghana must go. But, but it wasn't with, with this kind of systematic violence. Yeah. yeah. But the fact is, we wanted them to yeah, go. Yeah, yes. uh, we did. Because we want felt them that they go. were also we did, we hindering did, our yes, progress. We, yes. we, we, we asked them to go. Uh, they left. Yes. But this system in which we have this systematic violence mm. against. Yes. Um, so people from other yes, people from other countries. It's systemic. Yes, um, there was no systemic violence, mm -hmm. and I think yes, as sad as our own situation when we asked Ghana to go, and it was a government policy. Yeah. This I was, was going to yeah, say that maybe was, because was, we had yeah, the backing yeah. of our government, so it was, and they don't yeah. seem to have the backing it, it of their government. It was a systematic. Okay, let's put it this way: it was a systematic exit, mm -hmm. forceful exit of Ghanaians from our, our country mm -hmm. for economic reasons. Yeah. Uh, but in, in, in this instance, in South Africa, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, it's almost a tacitly, not government sanctioned, I will, I will be careful to say that, but maybe um, uh, uh, it was systematic violence against no, but non -South, sorry, uh, non Sorry, the reason I brought up the Ghanaian thing is that some people are even angry that they dare to tell us to leave. But we have asked people to leave. Because the message, yes, the it way was, they're sending out the message is wrong, about leaving. but it's the same okay, message. It wasn't about, about leaving. People have, been, people have been asked to leave mm. Um, um, uh, and it was actually in our case it was illegals right. because this was before we actually formalized ECOWAS. Mm -hmm. um, so l l let's get this straight. People are removed from South Africa on a daily basis okay. who yes, have entered South correct. Africa that's illegally correct. or who have committed crimes are being removed on a daily basis. Okay. If you if you if you frequent so, if you frequent that South Africa yeah. the Lagos Johannesburg route, you see Nigerians being removed yeah, even yeah, at the airport on a, almost on a daily basis. So that's not the point. Mm. The point is that you have systematic violence. You know, intolerance, uh, intolerance on the street. That's systematic. Yeah. 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 Against non-South Africans. Yeah. And violence and and they they, they promote it. And it's, it's almost as if look um, you know, and it's, it's even, even at the times when we, when we did this, and I don't like this whataboutism because we did it, mm. and therefore, uh, you know, it excuses this. Mm. No, you know, I mean, I, I, I don't think we should even no, go I just wanted there. to explore the, the, whether yeah, they, you can the identify point, with wanting other people to go out oh, because oh, you feel they're... Oh, yeah, when people, style, when so people even, even in your home, someone becomes a problem, mm. you can tell the person, you open the door for the person. <laughs> you overstayed you know, your welcome. You know, <laughs> but you don't start beating the person and killing the person, yes, do you? Yes. No, you I, ask I, the person I, to go. Mm. I think, I think it's, it's just misplaced rage, mm. you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the way they're executing it, you know, you begin to suspect that there's elements of envy, ele because they, yeah. they target economic the Pros economic pros side yeah. prospects, yeah. you know, why are they tar targeting shops and businesses mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. foreigners, yeah. you know. But for me, I think they really need to sit down and look at the numbers. These people they're targeting, you know, constitute just minute percentage oh, yeah. of that economic, yeah. whatever concerns yeah. they have. Yeah. The, the white men still run their country. They yeah. hold the economy. Minimum. Small yeah. percentage of white people yeah. still yeah. control the economy yeah. of yeah. that country. Yeah. Yeah. You know, turning their backs on us, if we leave, will still not make things better for them. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Nothing yeah. will change. In fact, in, the, in, some, change. in some places, they will even suffer more. I know in some places like in East London, where a lot of Nigerian own businesses and car shops, and mechanic workshops, the same thing in Durban, they will suffer more because we employ a lot of them, a lot of the locals. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you see a Nigerian who runs a, a car showroom or a business, um, and he has like 20, 30 local staff working for him. Mm -hmm. The same thing in parts of Johannesburg, the same thing in, 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 in Durban, in, in parts of Mpumalanga. So I think that 
you know, I mean, their hospitals, the biggest hospital in Johannesburg, mm. the Nigerian staff account for us, uh, over 40% mm. of the medical staff. Imagine if 40% of the medical staff Less. in, in mm. that huge hospital, one of the biggest hospitals in Africa, actually, mm. will leave. Mm. What that will mean. So it's not, it's not a rational thing. So it's not a rational I mean, thing. I, 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 I mean, I, I agree mm. that where people become, if they're Nigerians Burgundy involved in criminal crime, activity or crime. who are in your country illegally, mm. they should be removed systematically. I think, again, for me, when I look at it, it's multifaceted, you know, mm. and especially when you're dealing with people like, you know, who have gone through a trauma, in a sense, a national mm. trauma, right. where you think that, you know, for most of, uh, you were being governed by people who came in and colonized your, your, your I mean, this jacket I'm So wearing, why, are they not, why are they not targeting, targeting the, the white the people problem. that That's colonized right. them? Well, I, I spoke you know, I, I spoke why are they not someone, targeting the I white people? Someone looking for soft targets. Yeah, 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 yeah for that's what she said. That you're, you're, she said you're situation. nearby, no, you're accessible, and yeah. you seem to be, you know, they, they, you fit the narrative of yeah. you are the ones yeah. taking their job. Correct, yeah. You know, um, I, I was going to point out that this jacket I'm wearing is a South African made jacket. And okay. the whole outfit. You're not boycotting, sir. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> We're married, do I have some uh, can oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I so I'm, I'm even as good as South Africa. But you know, this this if you see the full outfit, it's, it it sends confusing messages. You know, it, it, okay. it looks like something colonial with the the corset and the you know, and it's almost like the white man if you yeah. see the jacket. And yet, right. it's made with some of these South African. So okay. they they have a bit of a confused. They're not sure. According to the lady I interviewed and the article she sent me, you know, a South African, right. she said, you know, part of it is that these black South Africans see themselves as superior to Africans. You yes. know, and one of the videos I watched of a young man who was saying, you know, what's wrong with these people? They can't make a go of their country and they want to come and spoil ours. Uh, yeah, they should right. go back to Africa, like these Nigerians really looking down yeah, on us. That yeah, yeah. like we've gone and trashed our country and we want yeah. to come back. We should just go. So they have no sense. She says, unfortunately, they have no sense of brotherhood with yeah. us. Yeah. You know, they don't see that yeah. they are, they don't understand this thing we're saying when we say, oh, we stood with you in apartheid. They just yeah. feel we should leave them be. Since yeah. we've messed up our country, we shouldn't come and mess up theirs. Yeah. So it, there needs to be a conscience. They're, like, they're doing a good job of messing up there. They, we don't, very I mean, good job. And, they good job it. <laughs> and, and, and look, look, uh, Botswana, their closest neighbor, yeah. has issued a travel advisory. Um, Zimbabwe, the same thing. Zambia. Mm -hmm. I mean, so it's not uh, going if, well. If they insulate themselves, eventually, I it will think, affect them. Oh, I think it will affect it will. them a, a lot more <laughs> than 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 any con any other country. And no. I think it's even more worrying, worrisome when you have you know top government functionaries now. In a very subtle or openly, yeah. you know, supporting uh, xenophobia. xenophobia. Oh like my that. goodness! It, it becomes a big problem. No, but then what's of the Nigerian reaction? Because you know, again, we're trying to say, how do we move on from this so we can have proper dialogue and get things right? You know, the attack on ShopRite, the attacks on cars. When I look mm. at all those, it doesn't. It to me it seems like Zeno similar robbery. kind it's of. It's not xenophobia. <laughs> Zeno yeah. Yeah. Zeno I, I think it's just. I, it was, it was, I think it's just it's an crazy. avenue for, them them for people to just to steal and loot right, things. Yeah. Um, yeah. And look, people uh, are angry. Let's not. Let's not. Uh, people are angry. Beyond, beyond, you know, beyond but, but, but I think that yeah, issue, and, yeah, and it also harkens to that sense of where look, people are dying daily. On Sunday, um, over 30 people were killed um, in Katsina, 50-something people kidnapped. Wow. Um, we didn't see that kind of outrage. We didn't mm -hmm. see people marching okay, on the streets okay, to, 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 to do that. But because we are under a flag, it's like playing football, now there's, there's another team okay. against us. So we've all right. gathered. That tells you about yeah. human psyche. Yeah, it's, it's a human thing. Right. Mm. So now we have a common enemy. Yes. Right. But right. we can afford to kill each other. Um, not so much of a problem. Mm. But once there's somebody killing us, of us, then we, yes. we, we, we'll that's, come that's up with that. That's an interesting but, but one. Let, let us not forget that mm. this has been going on for a while. Oh, without the xenophobia? Any, yes, okay. without yes, yes, any yes. reaction. Yeah. We've been patient yeah. for yeah, a while. Yeah, we've been patient. You know, I think just going to, yeah, they're, just, right. they're just expressing yeah. their frustration. Uh, we've yeah. had enough. Yeah. When do yeah. we? When, when will they stop this? Or when yeah. do we call their attention to the madness? Yes. Yeah. I was actually surprised when, when they started to call this one out. Right. I thought it would fizzle out in about a day because we haven't been doing anything about it. They, they've been doing this thing for ages, like yeah, you said. Yeah. So six months ago, this yeah. happened. Yeah. Exactly. Six so I was surprised ago. when it, a day passed, they were still, it was still in the news. Mm. And it seemed that the tempo was growing. Mm. And I thought, oh, Nigerians are now finally uh, like up, the yeah. fact that they're killing some of our boys and you're girls. Hearing, in, uh, you're seeing video, uh, of, you know, you're no, hearing we're stories. Seeing, of no, the, we were seeing these things. I'm, I'm, I'm well aware that you can go to South Africa and be beat, and there will be an uprising and you'll be beaten and killed and then you'll stop. I've, I've mm. been at, at the airport in Johannesburg, you present a passport, you say you're coming, you say, ah, 
So you people have come to take our women, eh? Yeah. Exactly. Yes. It can be as bad <laughs> oh, as that. Straight up. What they, you they, say yeah, that? yeah. I mean, this is an immigration person, and yeah. not doesn't say it the way you know Nigeria might say it as a joke. Yeah. Ah, you people have come. Yeah. You know, it it's says it with painful. anger, with, with with aggression. Yeah. Wow. And at uh, you Nigerians, eh? You people should uh, you our should women. do and go back. You know, I mean, you 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 see all of those um, very. Uh, there's and anger. Talk. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, I'm not excused. Appetite has done uh, yeah. a lot no, of but damage. But you mentioned take out women. Yeah. Even yeah. the women. You know the student recently that was, that was bludgeoned in yeah. the post office by a fellow South African. So they went to protest at the economic forum because they said, look, this for them is representative of the way they treat their women. So they, yeah. they, have, they have problems with anger. They have problems with even among themselves mm -hmm. the yes. way they handle yeah. their women. So, yeah. you know, you're, you're dealing with probably, like you said, the yeah. fallout yeah. from, yeah, yeah. yeah. the yeah. trauma of being trauma of, yeah. subdued yeah. and, and made to, yeah. you know, emasculated. With no almost. healing period, yeah. no... Um, no looking into the no problem. No looking into the problem. And no therapy. So knowing that, uh, that's it, no therapy. You know? mm -hmm. I think, it's, again, uh, our government should, you know, take lessons from this. Yes, so you know, and it now. should be um, like that warning bell. Yes. Yeah. yes, South Africans don't leave their country. They don't leave. You know, and that's the anger. Well, so we're saying dialogue, not destruction, is the way forward. After the break, Emeka sets out to stir up some direct dialogue as he points the finger at the root causes of our underdevelopment. Stay tuned. Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. So the moment impressed. you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem and this and that. One of the reasons why we don't have more women in politics in Nigeria for as long as political meetings continue to take place in the middle of the night. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. no, really. Disastrous for a president to, even say to be unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's was a terrible, right. a terrible, <laughs> terrible strategy. <laughs> and because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities and quite frankly Nigeria has become in a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. Yeah.